Today we are going to make shrimp Caesar salad and also another salad which is a fennel, tomato, cucumber style, style, salad as well just because you don't need lettuce in a salad. I was kind of disappointed today because I was planning on making tzatziki and tabbouleh but my good old local store didn't get their truck in so they didn't have any mint or dill for me to work with so I decided this is what we're going to do instead. So let's get started. I've washed off my cutting board and I'm going to place the damp towel underneath it. And this is to make sure my cutting board is not sliding around. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting today, especially with the cucumber salad. So I'm going to start with the fennel cucumber tomato salad. I think it's tasty when not all your vegetables are raw. So I'm actually going to cook my fennel and then my other ingredients will bring the amount of freshness and perk, perk up the salad. Um, you can do this in the oven. My oven's being used right now, so I'm going to do it in the cast iron on the, the stove top. So I'm going to get my pan ready. And I'm going to cook my fennel. I want to be able to cook it all the way through. So I'm going to cook my fennel on medium high heat. And so I'm going to hone my knife, not sharpening it, I'm just getting the metal edges straight again. If you sharpen your knife every time that you use it, you won't have any knife heat left. And then this is my fennel. I'm going to use the bulb and I'll show you how to core it. So cut it into quarters and then just take your palm and cut inwards like this and it takes that core right off. And from here I can cut it into slices. It's kind of banged up so just if you see some bruises just trim those right off. And then make sure you have a nice flat contact here and go ahead and cut it. I'm not going to use all of this fennel for my salad. I'll just use half of the, the bulb because it's a pretty decent sized bulb. And I'm looking for uniform thin slices. So I'm just going to pop these right in the pan right now. And I'm going to add some oil in. And I'm going to let them cook while I finish the rest of this.
chopped ingredients are in my salad. I'm gonna mix it together. And I'm going to add in lemon juice and vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you prefer. Today I'll be using red wine vinegar, but balsamic's also great at this. Other important ingredients are some salt. Be generous with the pepper. And then my vinegar. And then finish it off with some olive oil. I don't usually like to cook with olive oil, but I will use it as a finishing oil in salad dressings and things like that. So this salad would go great with anything that's grilled or that just needs a little bit of a, like a, a punch to something because it has all this acid in there. One final step is for me to taste it and see if I need to add more vinegar, more oil, or more salt and pepper. I'm going to add some more salt and pepper to this. And some more oil. It is pretty tangy, so I do want to cut back on the tanginess in the salad. And I think that should do it. This is a great salad that you can make in advance. And it does help to make it in advance because all these flavors will marinate and come together. Just make it ahead of time and keep it in the fridge till you're ready for it. Also, if you choose to, you can add in some nuts or whatever else you'd like to add to it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.